So today we will be seeking to understand how we develop our products of transcription and translation from a coding and template stranded DNA. We also will be looking to understand the different kinds of single point nucleic acid mutations. So before we look at mutations, first we will look at an infographic to sum up transcription and translation. Looking here, we see the template encoding stranded DNA. From here, our first step is transcription in which we go from our coding stranded DNA to our mRNA. And from here, we'll, through translation, we will go from our mRNA sequence to our amino acid sequence and then to our respective protein. So to understand single point nucleic acid mutations, we will use an interactive activity to see the cause and effects of various mutations in the original coding strand DNA. So our first example is going to be a mutation in the second codon going from G to Z, making this a transition. So following the process, the change in our coding strand causes the respective change in our mRNA and then a respective change in our amino acid sequence. This is going to be a silent mutation as the amino acid it codes for is the same as it started out with. So moving on to our next example, we're gonna be looking at a mutation in the third codon. This one is going to be a transversion as we're going from G to C. And then looking at our corresponding changes in the mRNA sequence, we can find that our amino acid sequence changes as well, going from ARG to SER. This is going to be a missense mutation as the amino acid change to a different one. So moving on to our next example, we're gonna be looking at a mutation in our last codon. This is going to be a transversion as we're going from A to T and going through the same process, we see the respective change in our mRNA and then in our stop codon. So this is going to be a read through mutation as we've changed our final stop codon into a lyse amino acid. Our final example is going to be in the second to last codon. This is going to be a transversion from A to T, which in the MRA would, will make A to U, and in our respective chain change in the amino acid sequence, going from a lyse amino acid to a stop codon. This is going to be a nonsense mutation because of this. So today I would like to cite the following sources.